Uh, Robert Covington tonight, you know, I thought that the job he did defensively, he switched out on Kemba a lot. You know, Kemba, I think, was one for nine, you know, with five points. I thought TJ also had an excellent game on Kemba. And then Robert scored. You know, he made shots. He, he found a way to contribute on both sides of the, the ball, and he was the... Uh, he was the bell ringer tonight. When you look at what Joel Embiid did, four points in that first half, and for him to really turn it on in the second, did you like what you saw there? I tell you, what I liked most was that we had 71 points in the first half, and he only had four. And it shows that, you know, we, we, we were growing our bench. I thought our bench was excellent tonight, that he's got another, he's got a group of players and people around him that care and, and, and are capable. And, you know, tonight, like offensively, he struggled, I suppose, in the first half and then had a, you know, a solid big second half. And uh, I think just the fact that, that we, you know, could put that volume of points on the board and, and be winning at halftime without really Joel sort of completely stamping his thumb on that first half was, uh, was a good sign, I thought. In relation to the turnovers, I mean, you've talked about how you want your team to play smart and not scared, but how do those two things correlate with what you guys I mean, we're actually trending. It doesn't probably get the attention, you know, you wish it did because you have a game like we did the other night on TV. And, you know, it is. It's a killer. You can't win any game when you had 26 turnovers. And I, I, I give Milwaukee credit. Some of them, you know, were self-inflicted. And we're aware of it. And, uh, you know, since the... The, the all-star break, you know, we've come out of this understanding, like we have to fix this, we have to own it. And for the most part, we have, you know, I think we're like 15th or 14th after the all-star break. And it's just the, the 14 turnovers tonight really allowed us to put that many points on the board. It seemed like the guys were flying around defensively and really active hands inside, a lot of strips from you know, Covington, Simmons, and, and different guys. What, what has been the difference in terms of activity in those types of games whenever you have guys really active flying around, going to shooters, and, and getting those strips and steals? I mean, we, we are a long team. We're a big team, and we're a long team. And we think that if we can be positionally perfect and, you know, have tremendous team accountability, that it's hard to score over us. Um, when somebody does get beat, I feel like the next layer to what you're saying is can you put out fires? Can you play in a scrambled environment knowing the three-point line is the king in our sport? You've got to chase people off a line. And I think that we do those two things quite well. And I think that we're third or fourth as we speak defensively in the NBA. We're very proud of that. But uh, I also give credit to our guys who so we get some long guys you know, that I think are, uh, are trying as best we can to be positionally perfect as it relates to ball and man. You may have touched upon this before I got here, but when Cove is scoring like this, how does that change the game? Well, really, when, we, when you say that, what it does to me is it means he's made threes. That's his greatest way to impact the game. And when you look down and you see, you know, like Irsan go two for three and Marco had that percent and JJ had that percent, Robert Covington had that percentage, that, you know, Ben with 13 assists, he really moved the ball. But as a team, I thought we really moved the ball and we have to make threes. You know, Joel gets a lot of a crowd, he gets a lot of attention. And when Cove is scoring, it does sure help. But what really helps is when you're able to punish the double teams on Joel with sort of a lethal three-point line and it stings. It's deflating when, uh, you know, they play kick out, kick out, three ball, three ball, three ball. You know, it gets a little deflating, I hope, if they're going to give Joel that type of attention. Coach, what were you able to do against Kemba tonight? Held him to five, which was a season low for him. Yeah. I mean, he's amazing to me. I, I can't believe what he really does on most nightly basis. This is such an outlier. And, you know, I thought we had multiple people on him. I think our switch scheme and I hedge on the pick and rolls, you know, hurt him a little bit, but he's a water bug, he dances, you know, he got Joe Allen that cross match and, you know, had his sort of uh, patented pullback and that separation he can create is amazing to me. I think it was a team thing. It had to have been a team thing and I think physically we did a pretty good job, but that is an outlier. That, that, that is not Kemba Walker.